Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 3,500 years back in time. Finally, I can tell you the rest of the story about a hero in the Bible called Joshua. He is a huge example for me. As I told you last time, Joshua became the leader of the Israelites. He was supposed to lead them into Canaan, the land that God had promised them. First, they had to walk around in the wilderness for 40 years as a punishment for not believing in God. But Joshua and Caleb believed. And when God said he would give the people a country, then they were sure he would do it. After 40 years, God let them enter Canaan. So they got ready and took the Ark of the Covenant with them. The, the chest you see here. This was the holiest and most important thing the Jews possessed. They had been told by God to make it in gold, and on the top of it, they should make a lid with two angels. God spoke to the Israelites in between these two angels. And there were several other sacred things that should lie inside this chest. And they had to bring this whole chest into Canaan. However, they got stopped by a huge river, the Jordan. How on earth are we supposed to get the coffin over to the other side? But Joshua already knew God's plan. You must just walk straight over. And the first thing they met was the city of Jericho. It was surrounded by a massive wall. The people who lived there had already heard that the Israelites would come. So Jericho was completely closed. No one came out and no one came in. But the Israelites had to defeat Jericho if they were going to keep going into Canaan. They set up camp and had to figure out how to take this city. A man with a raised sword suddenly stood before Joshua. Wait, are you one of us or do you belong to the enemy? Neither, I am the chief of the Lord's army. I have arrived. Joshua understood that he was a messenger sent by God. What does my Lord have to say to his servant? Take off your shoes, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Now Joshua listened carefully. God had promised Joshua that the Israelites would take Jericho. But the way he was going to take the city was quite strange. This was not going to be an ordinary conquest of a city. That was for sure. The next morning, Joshua told the people what God had said. The priests are to carry the Ark of the Covenant and get ready to walk. Seven priests shall walk in front of the Ark and blow their horns. Armed men with weapons will walk at the front and the rest of the people will follow at the very back. And one more thing, you must not say a word until I give the order. And so they walked in complete silence around the city once and went back to the camp. I can imagine many were wondering what Joshua was doing. The next morning, everyone got up early and walked quietly around the city, once just as before. They did this for six days. On the seventh day, they were going to take the city, but before they left, Joshua gave a warning to everyone. We will take the city. 
but no one is to take anything for himself. All treasures are to be given into the treasure store for God. This day, they went around the city seven times. And when the horns blew for the seventh time, all the people shouted as loud as they could. Then the miracle happened. The walls of Jericho fell. And the Israelites could walk right into the city. The battle was won because Joshua had led the people exactly as God had told him. He was always obedient to God, and in this way, they continued to take the rest of Canaan. God helped them drive out their enemies, and the Israelites can now live peacefully in their new home. Well, thanks for following along. I'll see you in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya!